The obelisk of Aksum in Ethiopia was straight up stolen by fascist Italy. It's also the only obelisk to have ever been returned 80 years later. Since Mussolini saw himself as a revived Roman emperor, he thought that he deserved to have an obelisk. First, they did build an Art Deco style obelisk for him in 1931, which instead of hieroglyphs reads Mussolini dukes down the side. And it's still there today. <laughs> But this didn't satisfy him. He wanted the real deal. He wanted to take one from Africa. In 1935, the Italian fascist army began their occupation of Ethiopia. While there, they came across Kangazana's Obelisk of Aksum. 80 feet tall and 160 tons, it was built in the fourth century CE. It's covered with carvings of windows and two false doors. So intricately carved, they even have locks on them. Mussolini ordered that it would be taken back to Rome as the spoils of war. They found it in three pieces, but cut it again into five pieces and just took it to the Piazza di Porta Capella. After World War II, Ethiopia demanded it back and the UN was like, Italy, you have to give it back. Italy said fine and then just didn't do it. Then all the way in 2002, it was struck by lightning, causing considerable damage to the top. Finally, Italy said, I guess you can have it back. And after its restoration, it was once again dismantled among crowds of cheering Ethiopian residents of Rome. But they couldn't put it on a boat like they had before because the dock was in Eritrea who was fighting with Ethiopia. So they had to fly it back using two enormous Cold War airplanes, one Russian one and one American one. They also had to install heaters in the cargo area so that the stones wouldn't freeze and crack. But that's not all. They also had to widen the runway and the Aksum airport so that they could accommodate this huge plane. And finally, among great celebration the obelisk of axum finally returned home and that's where it is today finally technically it's not an obelisk it's a stela because it doesn't have the pointy top that's the only difference it's still a monolith it's still incredible and it's one of a whole bunch of ethiopian stela from axum thank you so much for watching and learning about obelisk with me